What's up guys, Garrett with self.dev. I've been getting a few emails about people wondering whether they should do a coding bootcamp or Team Treehouse or Udacity or Udemy or some other program. And I figured I would just make a video talking about what I'd do if I was starting from ground zero, didn't know any code, and wanted to go from there to becoming a web developer. So, first off, I probably wouldn't go to a boot camp. I think they're way over, like an in person boot camp where there's like the teacher and students around you, and you have to wake up and study like 12 hours a day for four months or three months or something like that for a few reasons. I think they try to cram way too much knowledge down your throat in too short amount of a time and you're switching between too many subjects to get like a good grasp on any of them. Uh, two, I think they're way too expensive when there are other options out there that are way cheaper like Free Code Camp or Team Treehouse or um, Front End Masters or Code Academy. And the third, I don't like the shared income agreements like that some of them have, like paying 15% of your income to them for the next two years. That's, that's just ridiculous to me. Cause I mean, let's say like they usually kick in if it's like above like 50K or something like that. So let's say you're making like 55K. So 55, one, two, three times uh, 15%, so 0.15. So that's 8,250 a year times two. So that's like 16K, right? So. Yeah, you can get a job as a web developer without having to spend that much money. So, what I'd do, first off, I'd go to freecodecamp.com because first, you wanna make sure that you like code and that this is something you could do every day. You don't want to, like when I was switching jobs to being a web developer, I hated my job, so that's why I wanted to switch. You don't wanna hate your job and then switch to something else that you hate or that you're gonna start to hate eventually. So, go to Free Code Camp. It's free, obviously. What I would do is this basic HTML and HTML5 thing right here. This is how Free Code Camp is set up. They've got the, like what you're doing on the left here, some educational stuff, like this, and this one they're telling you about the H1 tag. And then at the bottom here, it's basically the, the challenge that they need, they need you to do. So your H1 element should have the text, hello world. So all you have to do right here is type in world, click on run, and then it'll check your code and you pass. And then you get to move on to the next lesson. Now, if you don't have it right, or if you like spelled it wrong or something like that, it gives you an error. You get the X and you don't get to pass yet. So I would go through that. It, it's pretty fun for sure, but go through the whole responsive web design certificate and then go through the whole JavaScript algorithms and data structures. Cause like the base level you need to get a job is HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. Knowing more is gonna help. It's gonna like increase your percentage chance of getting a job, but this is like the base level you need. So in the responsive web design certificate, they've got these projects down here, like the tribute page, the survey form, the product landing page. Make sure you do these cause projects are important to have. Projects are like when you were in high school in math class and the teachers up front doing the problems on the board, you're like, yeah, this is easy, I get this. I could totally just go home and knock these out. And then you go home, you have the homework and you're like, I have no idea how to do this. That's what projects are. When you're going through the curriculum here, hopefully you're taking notes because that helps out a lot, but you're like, okay, this stuff makes sense, it's easy. And then you get a project and it's like, hey, build, build this. And you're like, yeah, crap. And that's when your brain really starts to get in gear and you really start to learn this stuff. Uh, you probably have to Google a little bit of like how to do stuff. Like if you didn't take good enough notes, you were gonna Google like how to center text in a div. But building projects, that's basically the proof that you know what you're doing. That's when you go to a job interview, you can point to it and say, hey, I built this, this, and this. I know how to do this. It's kind of like a doctor having a their degree, their medical degree from like Harvard Medical School or some, so whatever medical school, medical school they went to. This is like the proof that you know what you're doing. But their projects, they've got user stories. Um, so like your tribute page should have an element with a corresponding ID equals main, which contains all other elements. If you're just starting out, don't worry. I know that might be confusing, but you'll pick it up pretty quick. And then you click run tests and they have JavaScript that'll test for all of their requirements in your project, and as long as you get 10 out of 10, you passed. And if you do all five pro projects, you get their front end developer, or like their little certificate. I think I got it shown up on my LinkedIn here. 
yeah, you basically get something like this. It doesn't carry like a whole lot of weight, but it's cool to have. It's cool to throw up on your LinkedIn. So after I finished this responsive web design certificate, just this first part here, the last project is a portfolio. So make sure you link up your projects on the portfolio right here because you want to have somewhere you can point people and say, hey, this is the stuff I've built. So make sure your projects are linked up here. Uh, if you, you should probably customize it a little bit. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like bad, but it doesn't look that great either. Uh, my design skills are pretty trash. If you're anything like me, yours are too, but customize it a little bit. Try to make it look a little bit more appealing than this. Once you've got that done, it's time to get your resume all set up. So click on the link up here, one of these corners. I'll have a link to my video on what my resume looked like before I had any technical experience. And you can get my, you can get like the, the template for my resume from that video. Get that, put your projects on it and get your tech resume set up. Then time to start applying for jobs. You probably don't feel like you know too much. You honestly don't know too much. But the worst case scenario is you don't get any calls from your applications. So like that's the worst thing that can happen. Best case scenario, you get a job. Medium case scenario, you get an interview. You get to go see what a tech interview is like and you get some reference experience. So that's a, that's a win too. So start applying for jobs after that. Next, we're going to do the JavaScript algorithms and data structures certificate. So go through all this JavaScript stuff. It's going to be like DOM manipulation, the basics of JavaScript and all that fun stuff. Make sure you do the projects here. Also with the projects, make sure you put those on GitHub. I'm not going to go too deep into what GitHub is. It's basically like a code repository. So you store all your code on it and employers or people can go to it and look at your code or help contribute to your code or improve it or anything in between there. So like if I'm an employer, I can go to your project and look at your folders. You've got like a little read me. I can look at the project. I can go look at your code and say, mm, yep, yep, this is this is good code, good code. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a call. And yeah, it's basically just like more proof that you, you did this yourself. So we're Applying for jobs now, we've got our resume, we've got our portfolio, we've got our projects, and yeah, we've got our projects put on GitHub. So we're, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, that will probably take you a month, maybe two, depending on how much time you're putting into this. These things say they're 300 hours, they're not really 300 hours. Like you can probably finish this in, depending on how much time you put into it again, anywhere from like two weeks to two months. And then probably the same with JavaScript algorithms and data structures. And that's for somebody who's like just starting out. After you get that, we're gonna go to the front end library certi certificates, go through this stuff. It doesn't get too in depth. The React does a little bit, but not enough to where you're learning a whole lot from it. And then go ahead and do the projects for those as well. Add those to your portfolio because more projects, more proof that you know what you're doing. You're still applying to jobs. You maybe get a call for an interview, maybe get two calls for an interview. You've gone in, you've blown the interviews. You're like, God, I suck at interviews. I'm never gonna get this. This is not gonna happen for me. But thing is, as long as you're consistent and you don't quit, you're going to get a job as a web developer. Is If you keep studying and building stuff, getting a job as a web developer is inevitable because you will eventually, like you'll keep improving as long as you keep studying and building. And eventually you will be above somebody else who has a job and the company will be like, hey, he's way better, let's hire him too. And you get the job. From there, we are gonna take a step back and go back down to the HTML and CSS. Um, there's another website called The Odin Project. It's another website kind of like Free Code Camp. I don't like it as much because they teach Ruby and I feel like Ruby is dying and I don't think it's worth learning anymore. It might be depending on where you live, but I'd, I'd avoid it personally. And I would go to their, their track for front end only and then go through their web development 101, their JavaScript. These don't seem like they're in order. Go for the HTML and CSS first, then the JavaScript, then the web development 101, and then the getting hired. 
because that'll give you some resume to, or that'll give you some tips, hopefully, with your job search. Yeah, they've got a project for building your personal website, um, building your resume. So they get some good tips for that. Now, you might be saying, why are we going back down to HTML and CSS if we're already on JavaScript and like the more advanced stuff? Well, because there's a saying that's like your your knowledge is like a mile wide and an inch deep or something like that. Like you've got a huge breadth of knowledge, but you don't know it very in depth. Right now, you've got like a decent breadth of knowledge and you know it like a foot down maybe. So we want to revisit HTML, CSS, HTML and CSS just to kind of like get more repetition and practice that more. Because a lot of people will breeze over HTML and CSS and then when it comes to a job interview and they're like, hey, build this with HTML and CSS, they can't do it. So we need more repetition to get that down. And that's why I'm saying go through the Odin project as well. Plus, I'm a big fan of getting multiple perspectives on something. So like there might be stuff that the Odin project teaches about HTML, CSS and JavaScript that FreeCodeCamp didn't teach. Now, a big thing here, don't get stuck in tutorial hell. Don't think you need to go through all of FreeCodeCamp, all of the Odin project before you can start applying. Start applying and have a resume and a portfolio built by the time you get to this part here, the second step. You're going to do that right after the first one. But if you do need more practice, frontendmasters.com slash bootcamp. They've got a bootcamp. It's a lot of the basic stuff again, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and GitHub, and they give you a project at the end, but their teachers are great, especially this guy. He's one of my favorite teachers. And then Kyle is a really good teacher too. But this is another great place. And then Team Treehouse is what I give most of my credit to for getting me, like I give this place most of the credit for me getting a job as a web developer. Um, we don't want account settings, that wasn't right. They've got these tech degrees, and if, you, if you're if you willing to spend a little bit of, bit of money and you need, you feel like you need the structure that a bootcamp would provide, like one of the other benefits of a bootcamp is that you're in a class every day and there's no Xbox saying, hey, come play, come play Call of Duty Warzone. You don't need to study right now. Come play Call of Duty. That's not gonna happen in a bootcamp. Um, and then the bootcamp also has a course laid out straight for you. That's another benefit of it. Team Trials does have that. They've got different tech degrees. I'm doing their Python tech degree right now. Uh, like I said, it is a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. They've got their front-end web developer and full-stack JavaScript tech degree. Again, I wouldn't start off with these. I'd start off with free code camp just to make sure you like code and why not use the free stuff if it's available? Cause like this can teach you, this can help you get a, a decent foundation in the, in the basics. But Team Treehouse, what I like about them, they've got video courses, which one, I'm a big fan of video courses. I don't like having to read the stuff, which is not a good thing because technical documentation is reading stuff. But they've got videos, so they basically teach you what you can do in a video, and then they say, okay, go try this on your own. So they've got these projects down here for you too. In my opinion, they look a lot better than Free Code Camp's projects as well. Um, anything below this first row, actually this one's one of them too, but these are all Team Treehouse projects. They look way better in my opinion, like this tic-tac-toe site for sure. Like you type in a name, blah, blah, start the game. They give you really good looking mock-ups. And I think that helps a lot when you're trying to get a job. Like employers are kind of going to try to look past the design aspect of it, they're just gonna be like, okay, he built this, he coded this, that's good. But having stuff that looks good, that's gonna help and go a long way as well. So Team Treehouse is another solid option if you are willing to spend a little bit of money. So by now you've got a solid grasp of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you've probably learned a little bit about Node or React or APIs. from the Odin project and front end masters. So go ahead, go back to free code camp, do their API and microservices certificate, and then their API and microservices problems or projects, add those to your portfolio as well and update your resume. Another thing you want to do <clears throat> by now is optimize your GitHub and your LinkedIn for getting a job. I've got a video on that. If you want to check that out, 
I'll give you some good tips on how to make those look good for potential employers. And then Free Code Camp's also got all these other interview stuff, um, like Project Euler, Rosetta Code. They're just a bunch of JavaScript challenges, pretty much. And then Take Home Projects, which is like a big bank of projects you can build, um, like build a voting app, Pong game. That sounds fun. Might have to do that. Build a Free Code Camp form homepage. Speaking of forms, check out Free Code Camp's forms as well, because they have a big community. Uh, you can get some good career advice in their career advice section. There's a lot of people looking for web developer jobs. You can get a lot of good ideas there and hopefully a lot of help. If you feel like you need any help with your resume, again, I got that resume video for people who don't have a tech resume or people who don't have any tech experience. And I also review resumes as well. My email's in the description. If you want me to review yours, it will be on YouTube though. So just be cool with that. I'll block out all your information, but just want you to be aware of that. Now, if you've done everything I said, if you've gone through free code camp, you've gone through their responsive web design certificate, you got their JavaScript certificate, you got their front end library certificate, you don't need to do the data visualization, you got their API and microservices certificate, you've gone through the Odin project, did they give you a certificate? I don't think they do, but you've completed the Odin project, you've gone to front end masters, you've done their boot camp, you or you've gone to Team Treehouse and you've done their tech degrees, you are 100% ready for a job as a web developer by now. Um, hopefully you've been applying all this time for jobs. You're probably gonna have to send out, depending on where you live, a few thousand resumes or a few hundred, so don't get discouraged when you've sent out a couple hundred resumes and you haven't got any calls back. Again, you're playing the long game. I don't know what your motivation for switching jobs is or why you wanna become a web developer, but I, mine, like I said, was I didn't really care for my job. So I would get home at like six o'clock and I'd just wanna sit down and play Xbox and play Fortnite, because Fortnite was big then. But then a little voice would pop up in my head and say, Garrett, if you play Fortnite, you're gonna wake up tomorrow and have to go to this job. You're not gonna be any closer to getting out of this job. I worked at a call center and yeah. So you have to use that negative emotional leverage to push yourself to study even when you don't want to, even when it means like waking up at 5 a.m. to fit an extra study time. So just remember you're playing the long game. Um, it's gonna take, it's not gonna be over, an overnight thing. You're not gonna study for two months and get a job as a web developer. That can happen. It's a slim percentage of people though. It's probably gonna take anywhere from like six to eight months to a year to maybe a year and a half. But as long as you're studying, as long as you're consistent, as long as you're improving, you will eventually get there. I think that's about it. So if you wanna come jump in the Discord, there is a link below. It's like a big chat room. Um, you can talk tech, meet some other people who are working on Team Treehouse's tech degrees or trying to walk the path of the, de of the dev. Uh, you can ask me questions, get feedback on your projects or resume. Like I said, I also do review resumes. My LinkedIn, my, not my LinkedIn, my email's in the description if you wanna send me your resume. Again, it'll be on YouTube, so just be cool with that. And my LinkedIn is also in the description if you wanna connect on there. I think that's about it. So let me know if you have any comments or suggestions in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.